Six Effective Strategies to End a Friendship How to Stop Spending Time with Someone As a human being, it's natural to form friendships with others. However, sometimes these friendships can become toxic and we need to end them. It's not easy to end a friendship, but sometimes it's necessary for our well-being. In this article, I will share six effective strategies to end a friendship and how to stop spending time with someone. Introduction to Ending a Friendship Ending a friendship can be a challenging decision to make, especially if you have been friends with someone for a long time. However, it's essential to recognize when a friendship is no longer serving you. It could be a result of a disagreement, a difference in values, or simply growing apart. When you start feeling drained or unhappy after spending time with a friend, it's time to reassess the relationship and consider ending it. Signs it's time to end a friendship. It's not always easy to determine when it's time to end a friendship, but some signs indicate that it's time to move on. For instance, if you find yourself being the only one putting effort into the friendship, or if you feel like you're constantly walking on eggshells around them, it's time to reevaluate your friendship. Another sign is if you're always the one making plans and they cancel at the last minute or don't show up at all. Why it's important to end a friendship As humans, we have limited energy and time, and it's crucial to invest it in relationships that are beneficial to us. A toxic friendship can drain us mentally and emotionally, leading to stress and anxiety. By ending a friendship that no longer serves us, we free up energy to focus on relationships that are fulfilling and bring us joy. How to prepare yourself emotionally Ending a friendship can be emotionally draining, and it's essential to prepare yourself emotionally before initiating the process. First, take some time to reflect on your reasons for wanting to end the friendship. Be honest with yourself and avoid blaming the other person. It's also crucial to remind yourself that it's okay to make decisions that are in your best interest, even if it means hurting someone else's feelings. Strategy Wone. Have a talk. Having an honest conversation with the friend you want to end things with can be an effective way to end the friendship. It's essential to be clear about your reasons for ending the friendship and avoid blaming them. Be empathetic and listen to their response, but be firm in your decision. It's okay to take a break from the friendship to allow both of you to heal and move on. Strategy 2. Make communication more formal. If you're finding it challenging to have a conversation with your friend about ending the friendship, making communication more formal can be an effective strategy. This could mean communicating only through email or social media, making it easier to distance yourself from them emotionally. However, it's essential to be clear about your boundaries and avoid engaging in conversations that could reignite the friendship. Strategy 3. Talk badly to the former friend. Talking badly about a former friend is not a productive way to end a friendship, but it's a strategy that some people use. It's essential to remember that talking badly about someone reflects poorly on you and can cause unnecessary drama. Instead, focus on the reasons why you want to end the friendship and keep the conversation respectful. Strategy 4. Make excuses to avoid them. 
Making excuses to avoid spending time with a friend can be an effective way to end the friendship gradually. For instance, you could be busy with work, have other plans, or simply take longer to respond to their messages. However, it's crucial to be consistent with your excuses and avoid leading them on. It's also essential to be aware that this strategy can be hurtful and lead to confusion. Strategy 5. Gradual Fade-Out The gradual fade-out is a strategy that involves slowly distancing yourself from the friend you want to end things with. This could mean reducing the frequency of your interactions, avoiding deep conversations and not initiating plans. However, it's essential to be clear about your intentions and avoid giving mixed signals. The gradual fade-out is a gentle way to end a friendship, but it requires patience. Strategy 6. Ghosting. Ghosting is a strategy that involves cutting off all contact with the friend you want to end things with. This could mean blocking them on social media and not responding to their messages or calls. Ghosting is not a productive way to end a friendship and can be hurtful to the other person. It's essential to remember that everyone deserves respect and it's better to end things respectfully. The effects of ghosting can be devastating as it can leave the person who was ghosted feeling confused, hurt and rejected. They may spend hours or days wondering what they did wrong, analyzing every conversation and interaction they had with the other person, and trying to figure out why they were suddenly cut off. This can lead to feelings of low self-worth, anxiety, and depression. One of the reasons why ghosting has become so prevalent in today's society is the rise of digital communication. With the advent of social media and messaging apps, it's easier than ever to avoid someone without having to confront them face to face to face. People may also ghost others because they are afraid of conflict or because they don't want to hurt the other person's feelings by being honest about why they want to end the relationship. The Ethics of Ending a Friendship Ending a friendship can be a difficult decision, and it's essential to do it ethically. It's crucial to avoid spreading rumors or talking badly about the person you want to end things with. Remember that everyone deserves respect, and it's essential to end things respectfully. Conclusion and Final Thoughts in conclusion, ending a friendship is never easy, but sometimes it's necessary for our well-being. It's essential to recognize the signs that it's time to end a friendship and prepare yourself emotionally before initiating the process. Having an honest conversation, making communication more formal, talking badly about the former friend, making excuses to avoid them, gradual fade-out, and ghosting are all strategies that can be effective in ending a friendship. However, it's crucial to do it ethically and respectfully. Remember that everyone deserves respect, and it's okay to make decisions that are in your best interests. If you're struggling with ending a friendship, consider reaching out to a therapist or counselor for support. They can provide you with the tools and strategies to navigate this challenging process.